Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Roly 35B. It's the same as the B35. They just changed it up to get their uh, camera numbering in order. Uh, this one was made from 1969 to 1978. This one probably dates uh, from about 1976. Uh, it's essentially the same as the C35. The C35 is older, but uh, doesn't have the selenium meter. Has a retractable triatar 45 millimeter lens, uh, f3.5 to f22. Uh, it's a license of a Zeiss design, three elements and three groups. It's not as nice of a lens as the uh, f3.5 Tessar or the uh, f2.8 Sonar. Uh, it's pretty good, except for the very edges when it's wide open. The camera's zone focusing from three feet to infinity. Uh, it has these little white marks, so you can uh, work really fast when you're set to f8 or f16. The shutter goes from a thirtieth of a second to one five hundredth of a second uh, plus bulb. It does have the uh, the threaded socket uh, for uh, remote release. There's no self-timer. Apparently there were some made that would fit into the release socket. The selenium meter is uncoupled. You set the film speed using this small dial here and then you uh, do a match needle. You turn this to the different uh, shutter speed settings and then the needle will tell you what aperture to set the lens at. Um, you pretty much have to do everything with the shutter cocked. Uh, when you close the lens, it's got to be cocked. Give it a little twist to the left while holding this button. And then you can put it in. It makes it pretty pocketable. Um, to rewind, the lens has to be out. So it's got interlocks all over the place. I screwed that up and ended up having to open the back, ruined a couple of shots. Uh, has a hot shoe that is on the bottom of the camera. The rewind is also on the bottom of the camera. With this one, I got the original wrist strap, leather case, and I bought it separately, but it uh, works well with this. It's the uh, Roly 100 XLC Flash. Apparently it syncs, uh, you know, the flash duration rather is one twenty-five hundredth of a second. Guide numbers are kind of all over the place. All I found for a manual was a little, uh, you know, idiot sheet with icons. But the farthest distance uh, on this little uh, chart here is 15 feet. It has a, uh, they call it a computer. It's got its own uh, photo cell in here. And that's for this black part here, which is pretty much good for three and a half meters, 11 feet. I'm not sure how much plus or minus on that. Um, seems pretty bright though. So whether it's guide number 40, which I've seen online, I kind of doubt. But 15, I would believe. Uh, it's a fun little camera, as long as I remember all of the different interlocks. Um, you know, a lot of people like the little rollies for mountaineering cameras because they're really, really small. You know, usually you're going to be in bright, bright light, so you can just use the zone focusing and, uh, you know, set it to F8 or F16 and not worry about it. It's a little funky for me to use, so I'm going to try another roll and see if I can be a little bit less clunky using it. So we'll fire another one through it, and I'll see you then.